Greetings and welcome to Studio G. My name is Maurice and I'm your host. And in today's show, we're going to be going over a little bit about the Social Security increase and think and three things that you should know. Okay, so uh, when I was checking my email this morning, I got this story from The Motley Fool. It's web address is fool.com. I just want to go over some of the key factors that they were telling me in this story. So they're saying there's a huge Social Security increase on the way and three things every retiree should know. So <clears throat> we'll go over that really quick here. So the first thing we want to know is when will the increase be announced? So as far as today, it will be announced on October 13th, 2022. Okay, so next month, less than a month away, it's only a few months away before you know how much your COLA raise will be. And then the next thing you should know is how is COLA calculated. So it's ca COLA is calculated based on the consumer price index for all urban consumers. Your Social Security COLA, though, is based on another specialized matrix called the consumer price index for urban wage earners and clerical workers so the cpiw but social security use the average cpiw for full year instead it determines the difference between the average cpiw for the third quarter of the year so they're only basing it on the third quarter which we're in right now okay so how big the increase will likely be so from my research, the highest it could be is 11.4%. Some estimate estimated being at 10.8%, but the citizen senior citizen league predicted that it'll be 9.6%. Okay, so nothing's written in stone right now. So the COLA raise will be announced next month. You know how COLA is calculated. And you know how likely, how big it likely will be. Okay, guys, one thing I want to make sure that we're both on the same page with on this channel, I try to bring you up to date and value news. So here's another story that I got yesterday because I don't I didn't I don't think I put any videos out yesterday. But you might want to start checking your social security admin area. Because in this particular news article, it said one thing you must check before claiming Social Security. Okay. And they say you need to check your earnings record. Because your earnings record is a factor in how much you'll get for your Social Security check every month. Okay. So that's one thing I want to bring to your attention. If you haven't logged on to the uh, SSA.gov website, and create your account you might want to do that so you can make sure that you're even getting the right amount of social security because they could have made an error and you could not be getting the correct amount so i want to bring that to you guys attention also okay guys they got so much stuff on the table about social security but it's nothing really pending but i want to bring this to your attention because it caught my attention and I'm right here on CNBC under the personal finance. And it says public servants like teachers and police officers get reduced Social Security. Congress is weighing a bill that could change that. So in a good gist of what this is saying is, is a congressional committee voted on Tuesday to move a bill that will repeal rules that reduce benefits for certain public workers so i didn't even know this that certain public workers get reduced social security and that's something they're trying to change but experts say that the proposal still faces a challenge journey to the house floor one key downside is that the bill does not include any changes to help pay for the benefits so again the biggest factor here is that they want to give you guys raises and they want to make sure everything is okay, but they act like they don't have the money, which I don't. I don't think that's true. I really don't. What do you think? But I don't think it's fair that a public service, someone who serves the public, is getting a reduced Social Security benefit. And the reason why they see, they said the reason why they get 
a lower amount is because of their pensions. So the pensions that they get offsets their social security, which that's still not fair. Okay, in my opinion. But I just want to let you know about this. Again, I try to bring you news that's relevant to what you guys want to hear. And I really appreciate you guys for subscribing to my channel. And if you could uh, hit the like button, I'm going to keep this news going and keep it flowing for you. And that'll be all for today on this video. So thanks and have a great day.